In some areas of the country, they fight over barbecue or whether to put beans in a bowl of chili. Well, here in New England, we bring out the Dukes and we hash it out over lobster rolls. Do you like it hot? Do you like your lobster roll cold? Well, Ashley's here. She's bringing the hot debate with her. I am. So I grew up here in New England. So we were really lucky because lobsters are readily available. And because of that, they're really affordable. So we were able to eat lobsters quite often. So today we're gonna make some hot buttered lobster rolls. Okay. And I'm gonna start with three one and a half pound lobsters. But if you can't find live lobsters, which we do prefer, go ahead and get the frozen lobster tails. You're gonna use about eight four to five ounce lobster tails and you can find that recipe for reducing the cooking time on our website. You're gonna notice I have a larger stock pot over here. And this is important because in order to get the full amount of lobsters we need for this recipe, you need the tall stock pot. Otherwise you can't fit the three one and a half pounders in there. Okay, so it's three one and a half pounders makes four rolls? Yep, four okay. lobster rolls and they are pretty on the, Good. On the hefty yeah, side. I've met a few skimpy lobster no, rolls. No, no time for no. those. So again, six quarts of water boiling. I have three tablespoons of table salt Okay. Here. So you'll notice they're not moving around too much. I just stuck them in the freezer just for a bit, just to help them go to sleep. And we're gonna put them claw side down. Cover is on. I'm gonna reduce the heat down to medium low and I'm gonna cook the lobsters for 10 hmm. minutes. It's not a lot of time. It is not a lot of time. And that's on purpose. You'll have the answer. <laughs> Okay, it's been 10 minutes. I am going to take the lobsters out of the stock pot. They aren't fully cooked at this point, and that is intentional. All right. I'm gonna let these hang out here on the rim baking sheet for about 10 hmm. minutes. And when you go to those lobster pounds, they have those beautifully lightly browned toasted buttery buns. Yes. Now, I have a couple of tablespoons of butter and I'm just going to brush the butter evenly outside. on the outside. These are not hot dog buns. You're right. They're split tops. And then I'm just going to toast them in the nonstick skillet. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to let these go until lightly browned on both sides. Okay. All right, we have our lobsters that have been cooling for about 10 minutes. Okay. I like to start by twisting the tail first. Oh, you're a tail and thorax twister, are you? I'm a tail thorax kind of girl. And then I go, go for a claw, mm -hmm. give a little twist. And then these, these are the gateway to learning to love lobster. Yes. Do you have any friends, family, kids that are just like, what is that? This is how you get those mouths to enjoy Okay, you can use a rolling pin yep. and roll out the entire piece of meat. So, let's get the knuckles. Yes. Twist. All right. And right now I'm going to use the kitchen shears. You also could use those lobster crackers if mm -hmm. you have those. But this does a really great job because, as I said, it's a little bit cleaner and safer than using the back of a sharp chef's knife. Yeah, I've done that. I've used the back of a sharp chef's knife. All right. Okay, this is kind of my show off moment. Okay. All right. I'm gonna pretend I'm a chiropractor. Okay. And I'm gonna put the tail on its side and then put a little pressure with the palm of your hand. Mm -hmm. And now use those shears again. If you have shrimp shears, you could use them here, but we've already dirtied our kitchen shears, so I'm right. gonna keep going. Cut right down that soft cartilage. All right. I'm gonna show my way. I've oh, always yeah. done the, the scissors on either side. Okay. Kind of like taking the chicken back out. Yeah, that's exactly this, yeah. Just wiggle it out. Yeah. There we go. Ta -da! And now I'm gonna cut the lobster meat into three quarter inch pieces. Okay. All right, running my knife right down the center of the tail. Three quarter inch pieces. I'm gonna finish cutting the lobster and then we can finish cooking it. We are gonna put the hot buttered back in lobster roll right now. So I've got six tablespoons of butter melting on the medium low and I'm gonna add one small minced shallot. And we're only gonna cook this just until 
heated through, because I'm also gonna add the lobster meat from earlier and a quarter teaspoon of some salt. So I'm gonna cook the lobster right now along with the shallot for about two minutes just until it's heated through. And that is gonna finish cooking the lobster. That's why you undercooked it. And that is why I undercooked it. When you're in Maine, you order a lobster roll, the last thing you want is an overcooked lobster roll. Yes. So this is gonna ensure that it's not overcooked. Right. Two minutes on this and then we're gonna fill the buns. I'm gonna transfer evenly the lobster meat into our toasted buns. Oh my goodness. I'm really looking forward to this. I do have to say mm -hmm. that I am an equal opportunity lobster roll lover. Yeah. I like the cold, you know, with the mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. that hot buttered lobster roll. It's like you get all the glory of ordering a lobster yeah. without the work. Yes. Because you did it all. Right. All right, I'm gonna load these babies up. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Let's just, oh my goodness. So I have two teaspoons of some minced chives. Beautiful. And we have lemon wedges. Come to me. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers mm. to you. Mm -hmm. mm. That lobster meat mm. is perfectly cooked. Mm -hmm. This is so juicy and tender. tender. Yeah, just melts in <sighs> your mouth. And all that butter. Oh, the butter. And the shallot, it mm, does. It mm -hmm. adds that little bit of sweetness and it's just in the background. It's not overwhelming. It's a perfect lobster roll. So good. This is incredible. Thanks, Ash. You're welcome. Well, wherever you live, you can enjoy this amazing New England sandwich at home. And it starts with slightly undercooking the lobsters in boiling water. Finish cooking the lobster meat gently in a skillet with butter and shallots. And then pile that lobster meat high on butter toasted rolls. So from Cook's Country, the supreme sandwich. It beats them all. Hot buttered lobster rolls. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>